Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Vista or Vesta in medical astrology. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But anyway, well, um, as far as um, Vesta goes in astrology and in terms of anything health related, well, it is connected with the, uh, the small or upper intestine. It's also uh, associated with metabolism. Uh, Look at, it's important to look at the sign Vesta is in. Uh, this might give you some indication, uh, perhaps, of the, the kind of metabolism one may have. Like, say, if you have it in Aries or Gemini, it might be very fast uh, metabolism. It's more like if you have it in Taurus, for example. Taurus is obviously very um, methodical. Uh, deliberate energy and it's slower it's it, the, the energy of Taurus is, is slower so I would say somebody with Vesta in, uh, in Taurus would likely have a slower metabolism now uh, also but of course it's important to look at contraindicators in the natal chart because if somebody has Vesta in Taurus and say they have Gemini or Aries rising you've got to factor that into the equation uh, so to speak but the thing is, uh, as far as uh, the sign goes, like mine is in Virgo, so for me, uh, maybe it could perhaps manifest in maybe some ulcers. It might be due to excessive worrying as far as any issues with the uh, the smaller upper intestine. Uh, another thing, too, is that this is where... Um, I mean, best in astrology could be about also where is about our devotion and our steadfastness and loyalty. So it might be, I mean, me having in Virgo can be associated with meticulousness and trying to be do whatever I can, uh, perhaps not to have uh, those uh, those issues uh, as well. And uh, the thing is. Uh, there's another thing, uh, and, and really, but sometimes that devotion and too much meticulousness can manifest into worrying, which of course could lead into the, the ulcers which I was describing before. Now, uh, it's also important to look at the house that, uh, that Vesta falls in in your natal chart, because this could be that area or sector in, of life that you may be impacted strongly in connection uh, with, with Vesta. Now, mine falls in, uh, in the fifth house. so. If I have any issues, uh, physical related matters associated with Vesta, that could really uh, impact uh, my fun, my amusement, my enjoyment, uh, matters with children. If I ever do happen to have any, it could be romantic or love issues. And, uh, and, and really having uh, the heart, so to speak, maybe to do things. Remember the fifth house uh, corresponds with Leo and astrology, and it could be about our heart that we have for things, that passion, uh, perhaps for for activities in general. And uh, another thing, uh, too, is that it's also important to look at the aspects that makes the points in one's chart, is this could impact one's, uh, the delineation for, uh, for your Vesta. Now, uh, the thing about it is, like with mine, it makes a conjunction to my south node in Virgo. Now, keep in mind, uh, the, the Vesta is about our, um, could be about our resoluteness, our devotion, our dedication to something. Now, the fact is that it's hitting my south node in Virgo on the negative side. It could be, it could be adding some uh, devotion or that steadfastness to sometimes hypochondriac uh, tendencies, which, uh, I mean, it could really I mean, cause, uh, you know, some problems if you are really, em if you're em overemphasizing uh, them, and in that matter to stay really healthy, to make sure you don't get those, uh, to get those germs, taking too many uh, precautions. Uh, it makes me think of somebody, this, some guy, uh, for, I think his name is Howie Mandel, and I don't know what his, who knows what his Vesta is in, in his natal chart, but I know he's a, uh, it always, I mean, constantly taking uh, you know, precautions to not get germs. If I'm not mistaken, he took like there was. I saw some footage where he took a paper towel and grabbed it, and he he grabbed the bathroom door handle using the paper towel so his hand wouldn't touch it. So there are there can be extremes with this kind of uh, placement, but it wouldn't surprise me if his uh, Vesta was very prominent in his natal chart. Now. 
thing about this too is transits that involve Vesta uh, can be significant as well as they could manifest in health problems or issues that are related uh, to this asteroid. Now let's say, let's take an example, let's say that somebody has um, transit, uh, transit Saturn making an adverse uh, aspect or even conjunct their natal uh, Vesta. This could be uh, some kind of, it could be some issues where you may have a uh, person may have possible intestinal uh, blockage or, or obstruction and, uh, and, the, and something is maybe moving slower uh, in terms of maybe the metabolism even. Uh, remember that Saturn is about, uh, it could be about obstructions, they're about obstacles, delays. And um, another thing is, uh, now let's say that somebody is having uh, transit Mars making an adverse aspect to their natal vest or even a conjunction to it. Mars can be about infection, so this may manifest in some kind of infection involving that smaller upper intestine. Of course, all this can apply to aspects in progress charts and also uh, in your natal chart as well, natal aspects. Now, another thing too is that uh, also it's important, another thing, uh, as far as a progress chart goes, aspects in a progress chart that involve Vesta may bring some physical issues that are associated with the asteroid. Now, let's say in a progress chart, by progression, somebody has Vesta making an adverse aspect uh, to their uh, to their natal. I'm, I'm sorry, to their Jupiter in the progress chart. Now, uh, this could be somebody that might have uh, some metabolic issue that might be attributed to perhaps a disease or some debilitation of the liver. If uh, in the progress chart, let's say you have, if Vesta is making an adverse aspect to Neptune or even conjunct it, it might be some kind of um, difficulty, perhaps some metabolizing alcohol, if that is actually possible. You may want to confer or confirm that on the internet, but I'm throwing that out there as an example. If that is actually a possibility, I would think it should be because I believe the body can virtually, uh, can potentially have problems in assimilating or uh, metabolizing just about any uh, any kind of uh, food or liquid that enters, uh, that enters the body. Now, and, uh, and again, not to be redundant, but the, what I just described, of course, can apply to natal placements, and it could also apply to uh, to transits uh, as well. Somebody uh, now another thing too, and if let's say I me, mean, if you have transit Neptune, you making a, making a conjunction. Uh, to your um, to your natal Vesta, that could, if this is actually possible, it could be maybe a dissolving of that small uh, in that smaller upper intestine. I don't know if health-wise, if it's possible for a small upper intestine to to actually deteriorate, but that could be uh, some uh, kind of uh, that could be an example uh, of that and. Also, too, I mean, you're, you're looking at, and in this, I mean, people to keep in mind that these uh, these asteroids are, I do see them as very important or significant and significant. In, in charts, I mean, they may not be uh, as significant in terms of the influence they exert on a natal chart in contrast to planets or even or even the ascendant or midheaven, but this is, uh, but they still can have a certain uh, importance. So. Really, um, this is uh, not much more I uh, had to say uh, about it uh, than this, but one thing I wanted to uh, get back at though when I was talking about the, uh, when we re be kind of rewind, when I was talking about the south node in, in Virgo I had and having uh, Vesta conjunct and another thing, but that can manifest and I want to elaborate a little more on it, that there may be that resoluteness, that devotion to those hypochondriac tendencies and it could be attributed, if, if you believe in this, to some maybe overly pessimistic or cynical nature attitude in the past time that I may have been around, so past life. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learn saying stay well.